what's in the box what's up guys we are back with another epic video today i'm going to be talking about several different things there's some crazy news and an epic package that i want to show you guys everything inside but before that we do have a giveaway i'll be giving away this vampire lord secret rare that we pulled on the channel all you have to do like this video be subscribed and just make a comment regarding the video anything that we talk about in this video because there's a few different things and uh let's get into it first of all i want to remind you guys tomorrow we are opening every special edition in Yu-Gi-Oh! history. It's going to be crazy. I've been editing it a ton, and I'm still not even close to done at the time of recording this. So I'm going to be continually doing that and hopefully finishing it on time. I think we should. But uh, Saturday, make sure you guys are there. It's going to be crazy. The video is about two hours and 15 minutes right now. I still have about an hour and a half to edit, though, so it'll probably be around two hours when I'm done with it. So yeah, be prepared to uh, watch a movie on Saturday. It should be pretty fun. Also, if you did not see on the community tab, we are doing a Magician's Force box break. We have sold some of the packs, but there are still packs available. Go check out Ruxin34.com, and you guys can be in on the unlimited but hobby Magician's Force booster box. It's going to be pretty fun to open. Should be a fun live stream, so make sure you come hang out even if you don't get a pack. Finally, last piece of news is actually really awesome news. PSA has lowered their express price, so they're not $200 a car anymore. I know it's still expensive. They're $150 a card, which is still a $50 difference. So if you have a lot of cards you've been waiting on, I think this might be the lowest Express gets. There should be a regular service at some point, which maybe will be $100 or something like that. And then there'll be the bulk, hopefully back at $20, but I don't know if that's ever going to happen again or not. But if you've been waiting on Express to come down some, $150, you say $50 a card. It seems a lot better than $200 to be honest, but you know, it's still expensive. I'm actually really excited to hear that. I honestly did not think they were going to lower it back. So that's pretty cool to see. Um, I'm probably going to submit some more cards that I have waiting because 150 is just, you know, 25% better than 200. Okay, let's open this box up. Uh, it's it's very large, as you guys saw in the intro. So I'm just going to open it over here, like not on the hands cam. And then I'm going to take things out one at a time. We have four items in here. Let me know in the comments, what do you think is in this box? Also, another quick thing about the PSA price, they said if your cards are there, but you haven't been charged yet, you'll actually get charged the $150 rate, even if you send them in at 200, which is pretty cool. So even if it's in like step seven and you haven't been charged yet, as soon as it's done, apparently it's gonna be 150 instead. You're actually gonna save money that you thought you were gonna be spending. Okay, let's check out this box. A few items in here, take these one at a time. Very booster box size. What booster box do you think it is? Ooh, this is, this is one that I'm very excited about. I don't know you guys i don't know you think you guys know what it is just stop that back right there check me out there i am hi guys there's my iphone that i use for recording for everyone asking okay oh there it is flaming eternity first edition box yeah this is pretty cool to be honest guys flaming eternity we've also got uh where's the code this is a hobby first edition box so we could technically pull the sacred phoenix ultimate rare which would be pretty insane so i think i'm gonna be opening this one up for myself on the channel i've never opened this box up it should be pretty fun i'm thinking maybe we do it next weekend let me know what you guys think do you guys want to see this open i think it's actually a really cool set it's not the best set ever but it's not one you see open very often and i really like the sacred phoenix i think it's really cool so i'm actually extremely excited about this box yeah this should be a lot of fun for the channel guys i think you guys will enjoy this one the last dual monster set, in my opinion, some people say this is a GX set. It's not a GX set, guys. It's not a GX set. Last dual monster set, and then it goes to the Lost Millennium, which is clearly the first GX set, in my opinion. But a lot of people think that uh, it ends at Ancient Sanctuary. All right, next item. We're not going to have to unwrap this thing. So uh, we have a first edition Pharaoh Servant box. Yes, I know. Insane. It's 24 pack, which means Jinzo, which means good. You know, that's what you want. Wrapping's a little loose on this thing, but it's definitely legit. Uh, it, it can be a little loose and not be like suspicious or anything. This is a first edition box. We've opened a lot of Pharaoh Servant. So honestly, this one, I'm either going to keep sealed or if somebody like offered me for it, I would consider it. But I'm not going to open it. We're not going to open this one. We've opened a lot of Pharaoh Servant first edition, so I might just sit on it. Maybe we'd open it in the future, but... Uh, I kind of want to start collecting a few sealed things, and this is a really cool set. We've always had really good luck with it. I have the PSA 10 Genzo, the 9 Genzo from BGS. Um, I don't think I need to open another Pharaoh server for at least a while, because it has. we've opened a lot recently. Here is another really cool one. We have first edition Stole of the Duelist. Yes, this is a really cool box. And yet again, we have 
what I believe is a hobby box. I'll have to double check this code because I don't have it memorized. I did have Flaming Eternity off the top of my head. I believe it should be a hobby box. So this will potentially be a box break in the future because hobby, Horus, crazy stuff. Uh, I think it should be pretty cool. Yeah, I, if someone pulled a Horus, that would be absolutely nuts. That would be so cool. So we have a Soul of the Duelist first edition box. Really, really excited to have this. I mean, really cool. This is one of the first boxes I opened. Uh, that was like an older box and we got absolutely killed when I opened it. We got Greed and the Penumbral Soldier Lady or whatever it's called. So uh, yeah, that one was pretty rough. Guys, I <laughs> I forgot about one of these. I actually bought five, actually I bought six, but one is not here yet. Five boxes in this package. Uh, I completely forgot I bought this. First edition Ferrana Guardian box, 36 pack. So this one would have the Lava Golem, which is actually a really cool card. First edition Pharaonic Guardian. I mean, just an absolutely awesome box that I totally forgot about. But uh, yeah, that's really cool that I got this. I don't know what we're going to do with this one either. We'll, we'll consider maybe opening this one or uh, doing packs on, on Ruxin 34 or maybe a box break. I don't know. I don't know what to do with this one because I, I mean, I forgot I was even getting it, but that's really cool. And the final one we got for this package, a really, really cool box. You don't see it that often. First edition Dark Crisis. This is a 24 pack. So usually if you see Dark Crisis, it's the 36 pack variant, but this one can actually pull the Vampire Lord Secret Rare. So it's really, really awesome. Um, you just do not see this box that often. So it is pretty cool. It looks pretty nice too. All these boxes are in fairly good condition. I mean, there's a little bit of like, you know, from moving around on the ground or whatever that is, or probably not the ground, but wherever it's stored. Um, but pretty awesome box. This one I think I'm going to keep for the collection for sure. I do not really want to open this one. This box looks really cool. I mean, look at the Necros. Yugi's on there. He's just ready to go. That is a cool looking box. I'm a big fan of this one. All right, so that's really it for this video. It's a very short video because tomorrow we have a two, a two hour video, you know, and I need to edit this thing and I can't be editing all night on this video and then have to edit all night on that video. You know what I mean? I'm trying, I gotta get, I gotta get that video out. It's stressing me out. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. The announcements were pretty big. PSA lowering prices, that's big. Magician's Force box break coming up. I'm super excited about that. And potentially a Flaming Eternity hobby box opening coming up. Soul of the Duelist box break. Stuff like that. I'm really excited about these boxes. Some are gonna, I'm going to keep for my collection. Some I'm going to be selling to you guys. And some may be opening for myself. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of video. If you guys kind of like the more casual, just uh, talking about some topics, let me know. Because I like to, you know, not do the same thing every single day. Because we are posting every single day on this channel. So let me know what you like and what you don't like. It's okay if you don't like it. You can let me know. Then I know that people don't like it. Also, that PSA thing will probably impact our Worth It or Not series. Because now it's a little bit more worth it. You know, it's a great stuff at $150 instead of $200. That's the last note for this video. The next time I'll see you, we'll be at a two-hour special edition opening. Opening every single special edition. And that's it for this one. I'll see you guys later. Peace. <laughs> Shining Abyss. Ooh, the Revival Jam. Oh, and oh!